Hey Brad, detectives spent the day out in Albemarle Road Auto Shop where the owner was shot and killed Friday night. Also there, devastated family and friends. WCN's reporter Michelle Bowden joins us live now from our mobile newsroom with what she learned today. Michelle. Bobby, we talked to a lot of friends that were out here at the shop this afternoon. We heard the same thing over and over again about how generous this victim was. One story that really stuck out, they told us about a woman who was out here during last summer's heat wave. Her air conditioning was broken. She couldn't afford to have it fixed. He fixed it anyway. They say he was just that kind of guy. His auto shop was a family business through and through. Everything he did in life was for his wife and kids. Greg Hernandez's father-in-law often helped out just to be there. He was a son to me. My kids. Okay. Okay. He was, he was, he's a son. He's my son. Not a son-in-law. Like we were, you know, we worked together. We were, we were so close. But Hernandez was murdered, shot multiple times, including once in the head Friday night while his wife, four kids, and in-laws were at Disney World. He was going to come, but he had a lot of work. There was a man that wanted nothing. Nothing, family and friends say, except to help others. He, he was a giver. He didn't want nothing for himself, but everybody else he helped. Everyone, they will tell you. He, 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 he's just fantastic. It's just fantastic. They don't understand, and police don't know why anyone would have wanted to kill him. No, he's one of the great guys. He's one of the great guys. Now, we talked with family late this afternoon out here at the shop. They worry the motives might have been that the killer was simply jealous that a Mexican immigrant was doing so well for himself and his family. Also this afternoon, not only were the police out here collecting evidence at the shop, but take a look. If you go with me across the street, there's a Shell convenience store. The police were actually inside looking at surveillance tape at that convenience store. They wouldn't tell us if they actually found anything. So still tonight, no suspects in this killing. We're live now from our WCNC mobile newsroom along Albemarle Road. I'm Michelle Bowden.